now let's take another example where user one from network one will pass a message to user six in network two for that case we have to interact with the router as well because we now send the message from network one to network two and we know router is responsible for inter-network communication so now the question arises: how the router is able to figure out where to pass the message or to which network we have to pass the message but before coming to the router first we have to identify that within the network we can transmit the message on the basis of cam table but when it comes to inter-network communication we rely on the ip addresses now ip address stands for internet protocol address this ip address has two different versions the first one is the ipv4 which has a size of 32 binary bits and the second one is the ipv6 which has a size of 128 binary bits simple now the question arises who's gonna assign this ip address and who's gonna take care who's gonna handle all those ip addresses so this ip address allocation is done itself by the router router is responsible for ip address allocation so it can transmit packet to different machines in different networks right router will assign different ips to different machines in the network and for both the network network one and network two for example suppose let me just create a simple table for ip addresses table and let's take few entries here now i'm going to take i'm going to create a simple table this one is my device and here we will assign the ip address for right now i'm going to use ipv4 address we will come with more details for ipv4 but right now let's take a simple picture first so let's say we have user 1 which has ip address of 1.1.1.1 we have user 2 which has ip address of 1.1.1.2 and let's say we have the user 3 which has a ip address of 1.1.1.4 simple now after this we have the second network as user 4 for which we have the IP address of 2.2.1 then we come to the user 5 which has the IP address 2.2 and then the user 6 which has the IP address 2.2.3 now when the user 1 will pass a message for user 6 it will be transferred to switch to compare the data within the cam table if it match which will pass the message on the basis of the port number where the mac address match if the cam table does not have the entry for the mac address it will be passed to the router and router will compare where to pass the message further and to pass that message router again has a table which is known as the arp table let me just create it here so we have to deal with one more table and i'm going to take only three entries for this one let's keep it short so here we have the ip address then we have the mac address so this table is known as the arp table and here arp stands for address resolution protocol let me just write it down as well address resolution protocol this is used to identify the address within the network now i'm going to write down this arp table for this network 2 so the ip address 2.2.1 is connected to the mac address let's say d1 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 and d1 i'm going to take only three entries so this 2.2.2 is connected to this one e1 again e1 and e1 and this 
2.2.3 is connected to F1, F1 and F1. Now, let's take a simple example. When the user 1 will send a message for this user 6, the message will pass to switch. Switch will check the cam table has the entry for this particular Mac F1, F1. If it has the entry, the message will be passed to this user 6 if it has the entry. If not, the message will be passed to the router that I want to send a message to this particular IP address 2.2.2.3. Now one thing to note down, whenever we pass the message in two different network, we usually pass it on the basis of the IP address. So. When the switch will pass the message to the router, it will say, I want to pass the message to this particular IP address, not to this MAC address. Switch will pass the message that I want to pass it to this IP address, not to the MAC address. Router will say, okay, I'll check that I know this particular user or not. If router has the ARP table with itself, it will compare the IP address that it has the entry or not. If it has the entry, then the MAC address will be figured out for this IP address. We got the IP address as F1, F1, F1 and F1. Then on the basis of this MAC address, the packet will be passed to this second switch. And again, the second switch will also maintain the same kind of CAM table. Let me just drag it down this is the cam table but not for the switch one this is the cam table for the switch two let me just write, write it down cam table for switch two and let me just modify the entries as well so we have few entries suppose on port one we have this mac address on port two we have this mac address and port three we have this MAC address. Now, when the message will come to the router, router will check that it has the IP address. If it has, it will figure out the MAC address. We got the MAC address as F1. Now the message will be passed to the switch. Now switch will check its CAM table that it has the entry for that MAC address. If it has the MAC address entry, it will figure out the port number. And on the basis of port number, the message will be passed to this user 6 on the established connection. This is how a general packet is passed from user 1 to user 6. And if you want, let me just write down the general structure here as well. So user 1 will pass it to the switch. Here the MAC address and the IP address both will be sent to the switch. Now switch will do its work and compare Mac inside the cam table. If it has the entry, the message will be passed. Otherwise switch will pass the packet to the router. And with this one, the router will follow up with the IP address. Then router will do its work and check in the ARP table. If the ARP table has that particular IP address, then the message will be passed to the corresponding switch. In our case, we have this switch two. This was the switch one from network one. Now switch two will do its work and compare Mac inside its cam table. Now, after getting the Mac address, the message will be passed to user 6. And here the Mac is responsible, and here the IP is used. Now, this is how a general basic packet is passed from user 1 to user 6. And these are the different entries which are in use for the transmission. Simple case.